This video is about bacterial vaginosis BV. Bacterial vaginosis is a common bacterial infection of the vagina caused by an imbalance in the good and harmful bacteria in your vagina. Every healthy vagina contains bacteria. Lactobacilli are the most common bacteria in your vaginal flora and they dominate the vaginal microbiota. They produce lactic acid, thus maintain relatively low pH, which means an acidic environment in the female genital tract. The acidic environment inhibits the growth of pathogenic bacteria, thus protecting women against sexually transmitted pathogens and opportunistic infections. Bacterial vaginosis is characterized by a decrease in the lactobacillus species, resulting in a higher pH, and the harmful bacteria grow too much and replace the lactobacilli bacteria, leading to bacterial vaginosis. The bacteria detected in bacterial vaginosis include Gardnerella vaginalis, Mycoplasma hominis, Mobilongus species, and anaerobic bacteria. So what are the symptoms of bacterial vaginosis? Many women with bacterial vaginosis have no symptoms, but if you do have symptoms, they may include thin vaginal discharge that may be gray, white, or green in color. Some women experience a foul smelling or a strong fish-like vaginal odor, and it gets stronger after sex. Burning sensation when you pee. Pain, itching, or burning around the outside of the vagina. Bacterial vaginosis symptoms are similar to other vaginal infections. It's important to see a doctor to determine what you have is BV or another infection. With BV, your discharge may be white or gray, but may also have a fishy smell. Discharge from a yeast infection may also be white or gray, but may look like cottage cheese. Bacterial vaginosis can happen at any age, but it's most common during the reproductive years, especially between 15 to 44 years old. And it can happen to any woman, but is seen more commonly in sexually active people. The risk factors of BV are as below. Douching, as it upsets the balance of vaginal bacteria. Scented soaps, bubble baths, and vaginal deodorants can also cause BV. Being sexually active is also a risk factor. Having multiple sex partners and women who have female partners are most at risk. You can also get BV from oral and anal sex. Not using condom and smoking are also known as risk factors for bacterial vaginosis. You cannot get BV from swimming pools or public toilet seats. Now let's see how bacterial vaginosis is diagnosed. The doctor will ask about your medical history and do an overall physical exam. They will examine your vagina for signs of discharge. They also can take a sample of discharge from your vagina to look for cells covered with bacteria. The discharge can be tested for gram stain for depletion of lactobacilli and overgrowth of pathogenic bacteria. This picture is the gram stain for normal vaginal flora where you can see gram-positive rod-shaped bacteria which are lactobacilli. In the lower peak, you can see the depletion of lactobacilli and outgrowth of other bacteria species. This is bacterial vaginosis. The pH of your vaginal discharge can be detected using pH indicator and loss of acidity suggests bacterial vaginosis. There is also a test called WIV test which is performed by adding potassium hydroxide to the slide with the discharge sample and a characteristic fishy odor indicates a positive WIV test and is suggestive of bacterial vaginosis. Test for clue cells is performed by adding sodium chloride on the slide including vaginal discharge and clue cells can be seen under the microscope. These are the cells coated with bacteria and they are named clue cells because they give clues to which bacteria is causing the bacterial vaginosis. What are the treatments for bacterial vaginosis? The doctor will prescribe you with antibiotics, metronidazole, clindamycin, tinidazole for mostly for 5 to 7 days. This could be a tablet you take by mouth or a cream or a gel you put into your vagina. It is important to finish all the medicine your doctor prescribes even if your symptoms go away. If you stop early, the infection could come back. Treatment also may reduce the risk for getting other STDs, which means sexually transmitted diseases. Bacterial vaginosis can return even after treatment. If that happens, you'll probably need to take antibiotics again for a longer time. Since bacterial vaginosis can be spread through sex, you should avoid sexual contact until all your symptoms are gone. Male sex partners of women with bacterial vaginosis do not need treatment. However, if you have a female partner, they may want to see their doctor to find out if they have bacterial vaginosis too. The IUD birth control device has been linked to BV, especially if you have irregular bleeding. So if you're using IUD and bacterial vaginosis keeps coming back, you may want to consider about a different type of birth control. So what are the complications of bacterial vaginosis and what happens if you don't receive treatment? At times, BV will go away without treatment. 
If PV is untreated, possible problems may include a bacterial infection if you're going to have a surgery on your female organs while you're having BV. Higher risk of getting sexually transmitted infections including HIV, genital herpes, chlamydia, pelvic inflammatory disease, and also gonorrhea. Women with HIV who currently have BV are also more likely to pass HIV to a male sexual partner. Next complication is pregnancy problems, which include early premature birth or a low birth weight baby if you have BV while pregnant. So all pregnant women with BV should get treatment. If bacterial vaginosis is left untreated, you are less likely to succeed with fertility treatments like in vitro fertilization IVF. This is the end of my video. If this video was helpful, it would be very nice if you could give a like to this video and subscribe to my channel. If you want these notes, you can download them for free from the link in my description box. See you in my next video. Bye!